Hi you guys, this is episode 15 of The Teacher. <clears throat> I swear I hate that fucking music. Um, it was finally the day of my date with Will. <clears throat> oh yeah, we still saw that. He texted me a few days ago and told me he has he had arranged something special for us. It was a surprise. He said I should dress nicely but to make sure I could keep warm too. So, I had no idea what he arranged and even bigger dilemma was what should I wear? I found three outfits that would describe that I would describe as nice and a bit formal. Okay, so what what's 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 the you know, let's say what should I wear? Not bitch did it. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't even right. The sun was about to set and he was going to be picking me up soon. Well, wait a minute. I didn't... Wait a minute, bitch. All I knew was that he was going to pick me up and I didn't expect... I didn't expect what was coming at all. Well, wait a minute, bitch. Wait a minute. Because I... Wait a minute. I don't think I picked that outfit. I don't think I picked it. I'm sucking this. I can't believe you were picking me up in a limo. Well, are you crazy? Yeah. Do you like it? Uh, sure. Are you serious? I love it. It's perfect. You didn't have to do that. Of course I did. You deserve the best. And my dad knows uh the driver, so you got a discount for me. By the way, you you look stunning. Thank you. And you look really handsome. So. Was it, uh, has it weirded you out yet? I mean, us going on a date? <laughs> Complimenting each other's looks? Uh, nope. Actually, I think it feels oddly natural. Well, maybe it's a sign. Anyways, jump in. We're on our schedule here. Oh, really? Where are we going? Well, it's a place that doesn't, uh, like people who aren't on time. We better get going there. After you, my lady. Why, thank you. I like Will for her. He's her age. I don't got to worry about nobody. Brother, nobody. Teacher, none of this shit. Okay? An elderly man dressed in a nice, uh, in a nice chauffeur uniform opened the door for us. He smiled genuinely at us. Uh, there's something about young love that makes elderly people happy. <laughs> Maybe it brings up a lot of memories. I guess I won't know until I get older myself. Well, you can just ask old motherfucker. Hey, I hope it's not me that if it's cooked. Uh, the sun had almost set behind us, leaving us without with nothing but romantic twilight skies. Um, we will pour me a glass of his homemade mocktails. It was a delicious pinkish drink uh, with bubbles. It tastes of blackcurrant. What the fuck is that? He even... Uh, uh, Completed the drink by putting some frozen red grapes into it. Where the fuck did he get frozen grapes from? Okay, whatever. I would be surprised if he came up with uh, this drink himself. Uh, maybe Miss Anderson had helped him a bit. I thought. Either way, it was cute as hell and it really set the mood for where we were going next. Which blew me even uh which blew me even more away than the limo did. Oh, just two more steps. This is amazeballs. How did they do this? No hey, no peeking. Sorry I didn't see anything. Okay, well you can open your eyes now. Oh my god, well, my dream is so beautiful. Where are we? 
We had a restaurant, um, whatever the hell, it means restaurant cherry blossom. Uh, I thought this would be the perfect place for us to have our first day. Oh my god, this music is stressing me out. Okay, fucking music was stressing me out, y'all. You know, <laughs> since it was Whoa. where, uh, it was here in the Brooklyn Botanic Garden, I called you Butterfly for the first time. I didn't even know this place had a restaurant like this before I googled romantic restaurants in New York and stumbled upon this one. It couldn't be more suitable for us. But now I know, I know it's really cheesy too. No, it's perfect. No, I, I love it. It's perfect. Phew. <laughs> I was afraid you'd think it was a bit too much. I really rented this. I actually rented this entire top, the entire top floor just for us tonight. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, you shouldn't. I must. It, wait, it must be expensive as hell. Actually, it would have been if it wasn't because I mentioned our story to the owner when I wanted to rent it. He was pretty touched by our childhood best friend going on a date story. He said he reminded him of him and his wife's story. So I managed to score me a discount on this too. Boy, you discount king, ain't you? Shit. Wow, you and your dad must be some real smooth talkers, Will. <laughs> we have our moments. <laughs> Let's go sit down. <laughs> right, shit. Mm, 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 mm. Here, let me. Thank you. Hey, turn it. Hey, turn it. Am I the only person who would think Will would be so much cuter with the man bun? Love it. Hello, and welcome to restaurant of uh, Flowers Cherry. Cherry Flowers. Um, Can I bring you uh, your hors d'oeuvres? Yes, please. All right, I'll be back with those. Please let me know when you're ready for your starters. What's the starters? I took the liberty of ordering a, a three. Wait, this three, this month's three course menu. Um, I hope it's okay. There's the menu if you want to see what we're having. Oh, she's totally. Have I right? No, get the hell on. Mushrooms, okay, okay. Toss salad, yeah. Savory chicken. Okay, and the soy. Yeah. This thing looks delicious. Glad you think so. Mm hmm, yep. Our dinner was fantastic. Each course exceeded the other, and our conversation was flowing easily and naturally. To me, that was the most important and wonderful thing that had happened so far. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm full. Me too. I shouldn't have eaten that last spoonful of dessert, but it was too good to waste. Okay, if I got some questions for Will, now would be a good time to ask them. Um, so, Will, can you describe your dream girl? Hmm, tough one. I don't really have a specific def hey, definition as per se. Every girl is different and it can be the weirdest thing. Things I never thought of as attractive. That I can suddenly find attractive just because she's the one doing it. It's hard to make sense of. Can you give me an example? Well, normally when describing a dream girl, you would say her laugh, her smile, her humor, her body, eyes. You know, stuff like that. But I think a dream girl is a girl who makes everything attractive. Even if it's just something like eating a cupcake. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is... It's the small things. Yes, a, a pretty face and a nice body is always attractive, but it's a small thing. With the small, usually overseeing things make my, her my dream girl. Being clumsy, high energy, or 
uh, crooked tooth that stands out when she smiles. <laughs> Even though Will is young, he's definitely not as shallow as many guys his age are. I love the way he uh, thinks about girls. That he thinks it isn't the overall pictures that matter. What? Um, it's what lies beneath it. Wow. Do you want to ask Will anything else? Sure. Big turn offs? Definitely an ugly personality. Like girls who are always looking to start drama. Girls who don't care about anyone but themselves and what they wear. Things like that. Okay. Um, dream job. When we were younger, you wanted to be. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't okay, I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah, exactly. Do you still want to be that? Actually, no. I love butterflies and moths, but it's more of a hobby now. But since I spent a lot of my childhood studying them, it kind of opened my eyes to another passion of mine. And what's that? Flying. I'd love to become a pilot. Wow, that's amazing, Will. Yes. Yeah, so, after we graduate, I'll start taking flying classes and hopefully... That will help me get the opportunity to study to, to study uh, vacation. Is that what that's at? I don't know. Um, will you take me on a flight someday then? After I finish flight flight to training school, I really want to get my own little plane, and I would definitely love to take you for a flight with me. He def he's definitely smart enough and definitely good look. What good looking enough to become a pilot? <laughs> this your look ain't got nothing to do with becoming a pilot, fool. It's the kind of uh, it's kind of the ultimate job a guy can't have. It's so romantic and great. I really don't want to ask him nothing else. <laughs> but it's only one more question, okay? I know you like butterflies and balls, but do you have other hobbies? Well, I'm a bit of a geek. I love to game, but I also like, well, I love hiking and mountain biking. Generally, I love being outside. Clearly, I love animals too, especially dogs. I love to adopt one today. Uh, yeah, me too. I hate cats. Da, da, me too. I prefer da, dogs. Da, da, da. If it goes well, we can adopt one in the future. A shiver ran down the neck as I imagined the future when we were together. If you want to ask Will anything else, no, I'm fucking done. Thank you. Now that you're all done, would you like to go for a short walk amongst the cherry blossom trees? I would love to. After walking a bit, we came across a beautiful cherry blossom tree, the most beautiful view of the lake. That ran through the park. The lake uh, we could see from the restaurant running below us. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful spring night. A clear night sky. And... I'm sorry, y'all had to... Damn, scratch. And the quite, quite city ambience made a tranquility. Dallas, get your foot. Dallas. Bruh, I've had a great time with you tonight, Mia. Me too. Um, yeah, well, thank you for planning such an amazing first date. No one has ever invited me on such a wonderful date before. Does that mean you'd like to go on another one with me sometime? Definitely. But this date is going to be a tough one to follow. You're right. <laughs> Let's try and do something a bit more casual next time. Are you up for that? Of course. I'm not sure if this is allowed on the first date, but... Is he about to kiss her? He slowly took a step closer to me, and I could feel my heart starting to beat faster. God. <laughs> Always a fucking special scene. That's... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, I think I fucked up. Can I go back? Okay. I couldn't believe that he was about to kiss me. Was he about to kiss me? He switched his gaze from my eyes to my lips. His eyes were so dark they almost seemed black and I found that extremely attractive and mysterious. It was almost like everything around us became blurry. 
it was just us standing there under the cherry blossom trees. Their petals were gently dancing in the breeze. Oh my! Bruh. Oh, and what looked like slow motion. <laughs> I gulped as I thought back to the day we said goodbye. The day he had moved to Washington. Even though we were just kids, he kissed me goodbye. It was my first kiss ever, and it happened at a place similar to this enchanting orchard. Um, right next to Will's house. When we were kids, I didn't think much about how you looked. He said, smiling to himself. I never noticed how your eyes looked almost golden or how soft your lips looked. I know you've grown up and stuff and you don't uh, look like you did when you were a kid, but I just thought I'd let you know that I see you differently now. <laughs> differently now. I, I blushed and smiled down to the ground and he chuckled, trying to finish his sentence. I haven't been able to stop looking at you, actually. I'm afraid you've caught me, Mia. I wasn't sure how to react to his confession, so I had to go with my gut feeling. And my gut told me to let him kiss me, if that was what he was going to do. Look at me, she's so pretty. I probably trust Will more than any man I know except for my dad, right? Uh, I know that Will and I would uh, make a good couple because we wouldn't just be a couple. We would still be best friends, so. He took his head gently. He took his head slightly, like he was about to go in for a kiss. His eyes were quickly shifting between my eyes and my lips like he was reading me, deciding whether or not to kiss me. As his lips came slowly closer and closer, I closed my eyes, only waiting for his lips to touch mine. But then, my phone rang. Bitch, I think you turn your phone off, girl. <laughs> as cliche as it would be, my phone rang. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, come on, Bubba. <clears throat> Will cleared his throat and took a step back, looking a bit embarrassed. You better get that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was... Uh, oh, my... It had to be stinking ass Daryl. Daryl, what the fuck? Daryl, what's up? What the, what the fuck? What's popping? What you want? Do you have any t idea what time it is? Are you serious, Daryl? What the hell? Yeah, I don't know if you forgot, but we're leaving for filling in less than eight hours. Okay, hey, 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 come on, come on. I know, but there's none of your concern when I get home from a date that I'm on in my spare time, Daryl. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, I was so annoyed, annoyed with Daryl, but at the same time, he was right. I had to get home. I hadn't even packed yet. I hate to say it, but I understand. Let's get you home. I had a really great time tonight, Will. Thank you so much for everything. Me too. Thank you for accepting my invitation. And y'all still didn't even get the goddamn kiss. We took a cab home. He kissed me on the cheek as we hugged goodbye. I felt warm inside for the rest of the night. Why didn't you kiss him, you fucking deal hole? I packed my stuff. And then uh, and the next morning, Kylie, Daryl, Michelle, and I were on the plane to Finland. Alrighty. I wonder, does the, the author of this, like, draw these pictures out or... Like, have somebody else that does stuff. All right, people. That's it. <laughs>